What is going on guys? So today I am so excited to tell you that I have finally received in my hot little hands directly from Amazfit the T-Rex 3. So I am still wearing the T-Rex 2. Love this watch. I have beat this thing to snot. It's scratched. I've had to replace the little <laughs> straps around my band a ton. Um, but now we've got the latest and greatest edition from Amazfit. So uh, I, I, I'm so excited to upgrade. But with that said, let's jump in and check it out. Now, first up, as usual, Amazfit doing a really great job with the overall packaging. It just looks nice, but we're gonna shred this thing open, so it's not gonna last long. It's gonna look good, but not last long. So with that said, um, let me see, uh, let me get this thing out of the box and we'll take a close, close look at it. Now, right out of the box, the Amazfit T-Rex looks impressive. It's got a 48 millimeter size with a durable looking design as we should expect from the T-Rex line. Um, it's got a strong stainless steel bezel and buttons, uh, which not only add to the ruggedized look and feel, uh, but also ensure that it's ready to tackle those extreme environments that this watch is specifically designed for. All right, so as we open this up, the first thing you're gonna notice is that the packaging looks really nice. Obviously, they did a great job there, but the watch itself looks impressive. Impressive. We have a nice 48 millimeter size and a very nice looking durable design. Um, it's got a strong stainless steel bezels as we can see right here. The buttons look super slick. They've got nice little textures on them. They have this nice little mountain range along the side over here, which gives a nice little uh, fresh look to it there, which is kind of slick. We'll have to see what that's all about. It looks just really nice. I think it's kind of going to be a clean little look. Get your little Amazfit branding here. All your buttons look really nice and slick, but otherwise it looks really clean. So let's pull this off here and look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, nice uh, recessed screen as usual. Looks a little bit deeper than it did before, which is great, can help with some of the, with the scratches and stuff like that. As, as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see mine very well, but it's all scratched up and beat up, but this thing's been through a ton. Um, the band looks really nice. I like how they added this like topographical map texture here to the band itself. It looks really slick, but overall the design here seems largely the same. Seems like we got mostly the same band. Mine's really worn down and, and worked over, but this one's all nice and sharp and ready to go. But that looks really nice. Rugged wise, it feels really good. Weight wise, let me put them next to each other and kind of get an idea. This one feels a little heavier. Obviously this one's got a lot more plastic to it. So I think they're gonna have a little bit more weight there. But overall, this one feels really nice. Not too, too different, but I would say this one definitely has a little bit more weight to it. That's just me testing it by hand. Um, but overall, looks pretty slick. Man, I can't tell you how excited I am to get this one going. But there you go, that's what it looks like. Now also in the box, let's just see what other accessories we get in here. We should have a charger. Let's pull these open here. So we've got a few things coming out. Yep, okay, so we got our little instruction manual here. Pretty straightforward, shouldn't need that. If you, especially if you know what you're doing. If it's your first one, definitely check it over um, and see what you think about that. Ooh, inside, oh great, we've got accessories. Look at this. So in this one, we've got a little, uh, we got a little wrench type system here. So we can actually like make adjustments here and potentially replace stuff. I'm not sure what that's about. That's exciting. We've got inside, we have a charging adapter that's got a USB-C plug and the, um, yep, it just snaps right on. So it's a magnetic. It looks proprietary again. Um, does this work on the original? No, it's not gonna work on the old ones. So this is gonna be a brand new charger. And then we've got, these little adjust attachments here, and I'm not sure, helping the planet inside. So this is a, I guess we can change the connector right here. It's got a specialized little wrench tool with three little dots right there. So we can actually make that adjustment. I'm not sure why you would do that. It looks like maybe it changes the angle at which the watch band comes out. Um, we're gonna have to look into that, that's interesting. So a little bit of customization you can do here. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we'll definitely figure that out and I will let you know soon. Now, as usual, this watch is military grade tough. It can handle temperatures up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit and as low as tw minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, plus it's water resistant up to 328 feet, making it perfect for those of you who like surf or swim or free dive. Um, if you're looking for a smart watch that can keep up with that type of lifestyle, as well as any other hiking, hunting, uh, I do a lot of hiking, do a lot of hunting. This has been my go-to watch, the the T-Rex 2, um, but this is soon to be very likely my go-to watch going forward. But this thing can really kind of take it. Any sport that you're doing, this thing, it can handle it for sure. But now let's talk about features. The AMOLED display is super bright, hitting at 2000 nits at its peak. So you won't have any trouble reading your maps or workout data, even in the brightest sunlight. The other thing that's great about it is it has night mode, which reduces eye strain in the dark. Uh, and you also have glove mode, which is something I think that's new on 
on this one. It's called glove mode that keeps your screen responsive even when you're wearing up to two millimeter thick gloves, which I think is pretty cool. So for those of you who like to work out with gloves, but still keep your watch on top, that's actually, now that I think about that, that's one of the things that I've noticed with these, uh, with watches and just in general, typically I tuck my watch under gloves when I, especially when I'm hunting. Um, because I mean, obviously the sensors aren't going to pick it up. Um, however, now it appears that they will. Now the battery life is perhaps the biggest highlight on this watch and the reason why I keep going back to these style watches because this thing can get you up to 27 days on standard usage, which is almost unheard of when you talk about smart watches. However, I wouldn't say that this is fully a smart watch. This is a kind of a, what I would call a hybrid smart watch, but we'll talk about that here more in a second. And if you're using GPS, you're gonna get about 42 hours in its most accurate mode with some tweaks. You can stretch it to about 180 hours in long battery life mode, um, which is great. So if if you're really, really serious about tracking your, you know, your path, you're tracking your, you know, you're hiking through it in the wilderness, things like that. If you put it into that really intensive full GPS tracking mode, that's what's going to cut down on your battery significantly. And you can blend with turning features on and off and things like that. You can get a whole range of battery lives, but at its most, it's standard usage right out of the box. You should get about 27 days. This one still gets me significantly close to that, even after using it since it first came out. Um, so battery life on these is absolutely solid, um, but you can customize it a lot to kind of get it to your specific needs. But for the most part, um, 27 days is what you should roughly expect. If you start using a lot of the, the, the activity tracking, the outdoor tracking, all that kind of stuff, the GPS, the heavy GPS tracking, um, that's where you're gonna start seeing big chunks of battery go down. But even then, it's still gonna be significantly better than most of the true full smart watches out there on the market. Now, for all the explorers out there, the Amazfit T-Rex 3 comes with free global maps, including contour, snow maps, and advanced GPS. This thing connects to six satellite systems for fast, accurate positioning, regardless of where you're at. And if you need turn-by-turn -turn directions, you can get those right on your wrist specifically. So, which is just super, super fantastic. So if you are a person who likes to hike and walk and travel, um, and you need like, you know, you're standing somewhere and you're like, hey, I need to get to the Starbucks, I'm walking there. You can actually do that directly from your device. Um, or you can even, you know, go on a run, not really pay attention to necessarily where you're going, and then be able to get back to a location that you started at very, very easily with turn by turn directions right on the watch, which is super, super slick. Now for the fitness fans out there, this watch also has you covered as well. This has over 170 different workout modes. So whether you're hiking, strength training, doing ultra marathons, you'll find something that suits your routine. And there's even an AI powered training plan that gives you real time updates on your performance, helping you optimize workouts. So they've really kind of leaned into the ultra fitness side of things here. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you want to find some really unique training sequences, use the AI assisted mode you should be off to some kind of new activity, which is great. And last but not least, I don't want to forget about the voice control. Now, the T-Rex 3 uses AI-powered Zep Flow. Now, that is to let you control your watch with your voice and send speech-to-text messages to apps like WhatsApp um, and text messages. And don't worry, Amazfit has got your privacy in mind. The data is protected with Amazon Web Services. So AWS is going to be protecting these. It's going to pass through that system to ensure that you have top-notch security so nobody's going to be listening in to your text message. Listening, listening or reading into your AI voice to text text messages. So however you look at that, you're good to go. So in summary, guys, the T-Rex 3 is an absolute powerhouse. Definitely worth the upgrade if you're rocking the T2, uh, which I have the T-Rex 2, um, definitely worth the upgrade. If you're looking for a smart watch, hybrid watch, now let me really break that down really fast. Some people might call this a smart watch. Um, if you're using a regular Timex, like standard watch, this is a smart watch. If you're talking about an Apple watch or an Android, you know, like a, the Pixel watch, right? Those are full-blown smart watches. Those have apps on them. They have all this crazy functionality. Battery life, typically, two to three days at most. You're gonna charge them, you know, overnight. Most of them, they're gonna last you a day. You're gonna have to charge it every night. That's where the difference is here. This is not gonna have quite the level of functionality, but it's gonna last you significantly longer in battery life. This allows me to read and text message, reply to my text message. I can scroll through some of my email information. I can use WhatsApp. I can use text messages. I can check the weather. I can set alarms. I can do all my workout stuff. So it does a vast majority of the functionality of a full smartwatch, but without the being held back by the amount of battery life. So if I go out on a hunting trip that's gonna be like seven days long, I don't have to worry about charging my Apple Watch. This thing is going to be able to max, get through that entire trip and then far, far beyond that. So if that's what you're looking for um, and you're looking for something that's super rugged, great battery life, all the connectivity you could possibly want, built-in maps now, 
AI functionality, voice the text, this is going to be a fantastic top-notch watch. I've had all of the T-Rex lines so far, and it is just the best watch I've ever owned, and I'm super, super excited about the T-Rex 3. But guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.